Dun 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 dun. Yeah. Dun 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 dun. That is so loud. Dun 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 dun. Okay. Hi everybody. This is Idol Manager. This is a bad intro, and I want to start over and probably go to jail. Take a look at this. Take a look at this young lady here. She is excited for what's in store because today I am going to be playing Idol Manager. This is an indie game that's been in development for. Lord knows how long. I don't know how long. I've been keeping up with it for part of its development, and I was very excited when it finally came out, and then I was busy and couldn't play it, but I'm gonna play it today. I'm so excited. This is a game where you run an idol company, a Japanese pop idol company, and as a K-pop fan, and as a management simulator fan, it's like, what else could it possibly- it's, it's perfect. It's perfect. It's perfect. And I'm excited. I'm so excited. This is literally, like, other than spending half an hour trying to perfect how freaking loud this music is, I haven't actually played the game so i am excited we're going to be doing that today together let's do it story mode obviously okay so there is dating in this game Ooh, -woo. i need to stop talking like that so i'm assuming all the idols are women unless you get like mods which there is a very thorough mod community i haven't looked into it but i know that it exists i'm assuming you could still date them if you're a woman so i'm gonna be a woman what should our name be oh my gosh I'm so excited. My name is Sarah. <laughs> but my last name is going to be Telltale. Because this is Telltale Heart. YouTube.com slash I don't actually know what my URL is. The group's name, I mean, the Telltale Hearts seems stupid. Let's do it. I'm excited, I'm excited, I'm excited. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. My rival is male and the tutorial is enabled. That works for me. That works for me. Um, normal. That also works for me. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Tutorial time. Oh my god, look at the cute little, like, girl in the corner. Little loading girl. Oh my god, she's so excited. So this game was originally, like, one guy was doing everything, and then at some point in time, like, it really picked up traction. There's an actual Japanese idol group that sings the music in this. The art is fantastic. The music is fantastic. The story, I'm assuming, is fantastic from what I've seen. This is a long loading screen, and I'm running out of ways to fill up the time. Oh, okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Okay, what do I do? Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh. Okay, I didn't, I didn't realize there was voice acting. Okay, he's not gonna say the whole line. Okay, well, I don't know who Fujimoto is. Maybe it's my rival. Um, where is he? Hey, do I look like I know? I don't even, oh. I can't tell if he's gonna say the line or not. I don't even work here. I mean, it's not like anyone works here, right? Not at the moment, at least. If you wanted to meet anybody who works for Fujimoto, well, you showed up a week too late. Who's- are we taking over his studio? Also, why is this man completely bathed in shadow? It's kind of stressing me out. What happened a week ago? Well, I gave him a chance to make his little noise. Okay. Oh, you didn't know? Well, this building might look like a ghost town now, but it used to be home to some very lucrative businesses, okay? They were the kind of businesses that turn a very large profit. But they did boast of their business in cash, if you catch my drift. Fujimoto runs the kind of businesses that favor profits over morals. Kicking it old school with the world's oldest profession. Ooh! Of course, the local law enforcement were usually willing to turn a blind eye, as long as they got a cut of the action. But ever since our city was chosen to host the upcoming Summer Games, the higher-ups have started cracking down on that sort of thing. Oh boy, are we hosting the fictional Olympics? I guess Fujimoto decided to clean up his act before the police had to get involved, which would explain why this building is now empty, and some of the neighborhood's finest massage therapists are now finding themselves out of a job. But I guess their loss is your gain, right? That's what you're meeting Fuj Fujimoto about? We're gonna buy this- We're gonna buy this building. Well, as best as I can- uh. Oh. He needs to decide when he's gonna make noise or not, because I gotta start reading. Well, as best as I can gather, Fujimoto's goal is to clean up his act, but let me give you a piece of advice. People don't change their ways so easily, you dig? <laughs> if you want to run things squeaky clean, you'll be running against the grain. Uh, yeah, why are you badmouthing Fujimoto? Also, who are you? I, I want to ask both of these. He's j <sighs> Yeah, who are you? Me? I'm just a concerned citizen Give. <laughs> why does he wait so long to make his little noise? Giving out some free advice. You're not gonna make a noise this time? Okay. Is that enough gossip? I'm just trying to impress upon you that Fujimoto is probably desperate, lit fil blah, blah, blah. desperate to fill this place with some kind of business. Whoever fills it could probably get away with running it at a loss for the foreseeable future. Okay, good, because I'm not exactly like a business major. One of the benefits of not caring where your money comes from means you can accumulate a lot of it, and Fujimoto spent a lot of time not caring where his money came from. 
okay, this guy sounds awful. Like, I don't, I, I just want to buy his building so I can make music. Can I do that? Anyway, I've already said too much. Enjoy your meeting with Fujimoto, all right? Oh, is he coming? You just said he was... Donna! Okay, okay, okay. Is he coming? Is he coming? Is he coming? <laughs> chapter one. Okay, story mode. Chapter one. Chapter one. Chapter one. Do I need to click? Do I need to click? I did. Okay, do I get to play? No, I don't. Oh, ooh! <laughs> I... You're Sarah Telltale, right? Sorry to have kept you waiting. Good to finally meet you in person. <laughs> I must admit, I'm a bit surprised to see you're so young, but entertainment does seem to be a young person's game, especially when it comes to managing talent. Anyway, your age is less important to me than your experience, which was enough to impress me. I'm glad you're impressed. The thing that caught my eye, however, wasn't your education or even your most recent work experience. I was most impressed by the fact that you worked at a convenience store in high school. Why? Oh, most people wouldn't brag about working at a convenience store, but to become a part-time manager at such a young age is certainly unusual, especially given that I happen to know that convenience store. It's in a pretty rough-and-tumble part of town. I worked for the Mafia, didn't I? You're someone who knows how to get things done, aren't you? Managing an idol agency isn't exactly the same thing as running a convenience store, but you have to deal with a lot of the same problems. Young employees who are trying to balance school and work, running on a tight budget, and keeping customers happy. If you know the business fundamentals, I think you'll do well here. And if you don't yet know everything you need to, I hope you'll learn fast. So, anyway, I have the paperwork here if you're ready to sign. Your terms are... Well, let's just say that they're the best terms I was able to get on such short notice. What does that mean? Your pocket square isn't even folded right and your tie is wrinkly. I don't like you. Anyway, I don't want you to think of me as your boss. You're the boss. This should be a M dash. I'm just a sponsor. An investor, if you will. This is your enterprise, and I'm just buying myself a piece of the action. I see. Okay, cool. When it comes to starting capital... Okay. I'm afraid I can't offer much in the way of cash. My investments haven't left me very liquid, and I'm not taking and I'm taking a loss on a significant portion of my portfolio, you see. Part of the reason this building happens to be vacant. But I can offer you use of the bottom floor, rent-free. Pretty lucky for my loss to turn into your gain, isn't it? It is. This kind of generosity isn't typical for me, so don't get used to it. Mm. What do you get out of this? I already said it, didn't I? I just want a piece of the action. You do all the hard work, and if you turn out to be a success, I get some of the prestige by association. If it fails, well, it won't be the first business venture I've seen fail. Plus, the truth is, I need I need someone to fill this property. If you let a space go unused for too long, it can start to look run down, and that can affect the value of the surrounding property. It's no good to have a building that never has anyone leaving or entering. But if you start expanding and taking up more space, you're going to have to pay rent for the space you move into. That's fine. It's a bit early to worry about that, though. For the time being, I assume you'll be focused on getting some starting talent, training them up, doing basic promotion, and most importantly, getting yourself a fan base. Yes. I don't know everything about the entertainment industry, but the one thing I do know is you're nothing without your fans. That is so true, Bestie. An idol group lives or dies based on the size of the following it gets. Of course, I'm not saying you shouldn't pay attention to your bank account. But if you're not increasing the size of your following, you're probably doing something wrong. Plus, there's me to think about. One of the reasons I wanted to sponsor an idol group is so that one day I can turn on a TV or pick up a newspaper and see people talking about something I helped create. So go out there and make me proud. So, <laughs> are we ready to formalize the agreement? Or is there anything I forgot to cover? Is there? There was a man who told me things about you. Is that my rival? I bet it was my rival. Hmm, I wouldn't worry about it too much. Probably some lo local gossip monger. You look worried about it, though, is the thing, Fuji. You might hear rumors about me. Some are true, most aren't. I used to own several businesses in this neighborhood, but I live on the other side of town, and I'm not always the most involved person. That seems to have lent me a certain mystique to the people who know who I am, but aren't used to seeing my face around here. I hope you don't expect to be working too closely with me. Like I said, you're the boss. I'm just offering you the resources. I'll drop by every now and then. Okay, King. I'll drop by every now and then, but I try to stay out of people's hair. Plus, I've got other ventures competing for my attention. But if you're putting on a big show, let me know and I'll try to stop by. Hey, getting VIP tickets to every event is supposed to be one of the perks of backing this whole venture, right? I mean, yeah, I get. Can you hurry up? Hey, running an idol group can be complicated. It's challenging, even for those who have experience. A comprehensive guide would be useful, yeah? The tutorial? Yeah, sure, yeah, yeah. I thought so. That's why I'd like to give you this binder. It was put together by one of my former associates, and, it's, and it lays out... SOP? I don't know what that means. State of point? I don't know. For a lot of things you'll need to do when running an idol group. Oh, <laughs> SOP? 
Oh, sorry. I should drop the jargon, shouldn't I? Standard operating procedure. What did I say? I said something that was not that. It's basically a set of step-by-step -step instructions for helping you do all the things you need to run an organization like Telltale Hearts. Yes, that's us. Of course, it wasn't specifically written with Telltale Hearts in mind, but you'll be surprised at how many universal lessons apply to running a business like this one. Documents like the ones you'll find in Spider are the lifeblood of any organization. They're a way to formalize the concepts and so that the organization can rely on a single person, since all of their knowledge is stored in a form that allows anyone to pick it up and take over their role. Does that mean I'm replaceable? Of course not. Human beings aren't interchangeable parts. Just because you know the standard operating procedure doesn't mean you'll be able to run things as well as the person who put those instructions together, but it's a great place to start. I've sponsored lots of business before, Miss Sarah. I'll leave the binder in your capable hands. It consists of a series of lessons on various topics. Anyway, I think it's about time they get out of here. Yes, please, God, this is so much stuff. Any questions? Um, yeah, who put together the lessons? As I said, that was part of a former associate of mine. He's got a lot of, like, as per my last email comments that I'm not digging. Like, obviously, I wanted more details, Mr. Moto. This associate was a capable person who I had an incredible amount of respect for. Are they dead? Which is why I'm glad to leave you in their capable hands when it comes to the nitty-gritty of running an idol group. Click on an unused part of the building to build a room there. Yay, I can finally actually do stuff. To start, let's create your office. Yes. Open the staff tab. Okay, this one. It's you! Each staffer is represented by a card on this menu. You're the first and so far the only staffer at Telltale Hearts. I definitely need to up the size of this UI. It is minuscule. On this menu, you can click on a staffer, change their name, or fire them. Of course, you can't fire yourself, but you can give yourself a nickname. Ooh, what's my nickname? <laughs> uh, probably something you two wouldn't like me to put. As the UI indicates, you're currently nice time to in a room. Grab and move you to the new create office. Grab your card and drag you over to your office. Okay, here. Go to work. Nice, look at you, already hard at work. This is the start of your journey as an idol manager. Yay! Can an idol group without idols? Yay! Auditions, auditions, auditions! You can choose to hold local, regional, or nationwide auditions. Making a wider talent search with a regional or nationwide audience will increase the chance of getting a highly talented idol, but it will also cost a lot more. Auditions are planned from your office. Click on your office and select auditions. Yes, local. Let's do local. Yeah, let's do local. The talent scout begins. It will take a few days for the audition to finish. Your portrait has a progress bar that fills up as the audition gets closer. Yes, it sure does. They can be drinking my coffee. My little boots. I need a haircut. I wish it let you, like... Oh! Uh, this is, uh, click the audition icon over your set head to see the candidates. Okay. Uh, five idols. Okay. Oh, here they are. She's cute! Iguchi Mako. They, each idol has four stats that are based on their appearance and four stats that are based on their talent. She's 23. I like her outfit. Uh, she's not very funny. But she is somewhat smart. Can't dance with a lick. Decent vocals. She's cute. She's cool. She's sexy, but she's not that pretty. That seems not true. If you were all of these things, I guess it's out of. Wait, what is this score? Maybe it'll tell me. You'll see two numbers. The first number is the current value of that stat. The second number is their potential for that stat. You can think of potential as a soft cap. Wait, that doesn't make sense. This is at 40, but her cap is at 24. Once an idol reaches their potential, it will be much harder to raise that stat through training. They have a unique trait. Some are beneficial, others can be more of a hindrance. Training sessions are 30% faster. Okay, that's that sounds good. Click here to hire this girl. Before we hire her, let's take a look at the other candidates. Try clicking on each of them. Okay. I guess this one is like their score, like overall. Whoa, she's very cute and her outfit matches the other girl. Can't dance with a lick, but she's funny. Okay. Oh, she looks nervous. Spends two times stamina on handshake events. Oh, I forgot to look at this girl's. Uh, she gets a bonus when hosting alone. Okay, that could be good if we need to like split them up. She's 18. She's not sexy. That's so rude. It's literally so rude. She's cute though. And she's smart. Okay. And she spends two time on handshake events. Well, we won't make her go to many of those. Oh, I like her hair. And she's, she could be a really good, oh, she's very smart. Penalties for low stamina are drastically reduced. That's good. Okay. Mizuki, you're 21. You got on your little bloomers. That's delightful. Oh, she, oh wait, I'm just now processing that her card is gold and that all her skills are fantastic. Hey, do you want to hire her? Actually, I'm seeing, I'm thinking. The number represents their overall rating. It's essentially an average of all their stats and it can help when comparing the idols. Okay. Can I hire them all though? Now that we had a chance to decide who to hire, you could hire as many or as few as you like. I'm going to hire all of them. I said hire at least three. Yeah, I'm going to hire all of them. They seem lovely. Let's see. I liked her. Well, I'm hiring a lot. Let's just hire all of them. I don't care. They're all nice. And if it doesn't work out, no, 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 no. Hire them or send them packing. Okay, I'm hiring them. Yep, they're all hired. 
Oh, I got an achievement. I got an achievement. We'll take anyone. That seems not... I didn't do it... They're not bad. <laughs> I mean, they are kind of bad, but like that's what the training's for. Good to be here. I hear showbiz can get pretty rough and tumble, but I bet it's easier to survive if you have friends. Yeah, I'll be your friend. Glad to be on board. I might not always be the first to the party, but there's a good chance I'll be the last one standing at the end of the night. Okay, queen. Ooh, I wonder if I can do a shy voice. Um, hello. Sorry, have you seen my disinfectant wipes? I think I left them here somewhere. That's okay, you can be a little neurotic. It's not gonna not gonna ruin your career. Yoroshiku. Oh, she's cute. Hi, <laughs> that's probably not how she sounds. Hi, I'm Iguchi Mako. Everyone says I'm a fast learner. I'll be sure to do my best. Ganbarimasu. Hey, I'm a part of the Telltale Hearts now. I'm glad to hear you're looking out for me and the other girls, but just between you and me, I think I'll be fine on my own. I believe in you, Minami. Of course, my name is front name and last name, so maybe theirs is the other way around too. I don't know. Let's go over to the activities tab. Okay. Every day, your group can perform an activity. Performance will spend stamina. Promotion will spend stamina and gain fans. Spa treatment will spend money and recover stamina. At the bottom of the screen, you can see how many fans money and scandal points your group has. Looks like right now you don't have much of a following. Let's expect to do a promotion. Okay. Did I do it? Did I click it? <laughs> I don't know if I clicked I clicked it. I don't know. Oh, there we go. You can hover over your fans at the bottom of the screen in time to see the current demographics. Okay. Oh, that's useful. I guess it's not useful yet because we don't have a lot of fans. Yeah, we literally have a female hardcore teen and a female hardcore young adult and a casual male and a male hardcore. That's all we have. We have like four fans. Okay. Well, we have seven. Okay. Now that it's a new day, let's plan a different activity. Uh, it's time for a performance. Okay. We don't have, again, we don't have anything like going on. It looks like that brought in a bit of money. Remember, you can do one activity every day, so choose wisely. Since you're first starting out, it might be a good idea to do some more of the promotions to increase your fan following. By the way, the benefit you get from doing a daily activity is based on the level of that daily activity or to see how you can unlock higher levels. Oh, I see. Uh, unlocking higher levels is one of the best ways to make faster progress. Um, if you're ever stuck, consider... Okay. Whenever your idols work, they spend stamina. You can check their stamina here. Okay. They're fine. Look at them. Idols, they're fine. They're great. They, they work them when they're completely exhausted. It'll drain their mental stamina instead. Ooh. Yeah, they're all at 98. They're all good. Idols with low physical stamina are at greater risk of becoming injured. And idols with low mental stamina can become depressed. Be a good boss and try not to work your idols too hard. Okay, I won't. Both mental and physical stamina recover over time, but mental stamina will recover much more slowly. Here you can view their stats. By default, it will display their looks and talent stats. Click on the arrow next to their stats to view their relationships. Oh, okay. Your relationship with each idol. They indicate friendship, influence, and romance. Friendship is a measure of how well an idol likes you. Increase it by socializing with them and generally being pleasant whenever you interact with them. Influence is how indebted an idol feels to you. Increase it by doing favors for her. Romance is a measure of, well, you know. You might be able to increase it by flirting, but not everyone will respond well to those kinds of advances. That makes sense. You can click on an idol to change her nickname or put her on her aidus later when you click when you create multiple groups. Okay, I was wondering about that. You can also click on them to assign them to different idol groups. Okay. Right now they're all in one group. Click on the profile icon to pit bring up an idol's profile. Okay. Here you can view more detailed information about her stats. The fans tab will tell you about her fan base. She has one fan. One female hardcore fan, and it's me. Jobs will any contracts she gets. Mons will tell you her relationship with the other idols and to see which group members she might not be getting along with. It looks like we don't know very much about her. Let's socialize to get to know her better. Okay. Uh, choose an idol and drag her to your office. Ma'am, let's chat. <laughs> she made a little noise. Looks like you're ready to socialize. Let's go get coffee. Okay, let's go. Casual conversation is a good way to get to know them and build friendship. Okay, try flirting at your own risk. Not everyone is receptive to a romantic overture. I would think that if you got the friendship up high, then the romance could come. You can ask her about her wishes to find out what her goals are. Helping her fulfill her goals will increase your influence. Uh-huh. Yeah. I mean, it's... I, I Yeah. You can spend that influence to get to do certain teens. Things. You might need to resort to this option to get her to stop. Okay, yeah. Don't No bullying allowed at Telltale Hearts. Okay? Every idol graduates and leaves the group eventually. Aww. It's best to begin working relationship by getting to know them. Let's engage in some casual conversation. Okay. What's going on with me? Not much. Look at our little heart coffee. How cute. Okay. 
these names though, I'm gonna be doing a bad job of them. Ka Hokazono Mizuyuki admits she's been playing a new video game recently and talks about what her childhood dreams were. You also find out that she used to take calligraphy lessons. That's kind of cute. You can't run everything yourself. Idols need to be coached. You need staffers. Let's hire some. Okay. Uh, hire. I'm not gonna lie, the coaches are kind of hot. A starting group of limited budgets has to keep our costs low, so let's hire a novice. Okay. Start by hiring a manager to help us with business deals. Select either a sales manager or a production manager. Okay. Number of negotiation attempts to chance of successful negotiation 62 success rate 40 okay i guess i'll hire this one and she needs a place to work let's go back to the office select office these are identical no they're not okay mine has headphones oh that was loud grab her and drag her to their office that's kind of it's <laughs> kind of scary grab her and drag her to the office okay i'm trying to there she goes if they aren't assigned to a task they will automatically generate research points yeah i know about research points so this ain't my first rodeo research points Looks like you already have some research points. Okay. Spend your research points. Okay. You can spend manager points in different types of contracts. Looks like you don't have enough research points to unlock anything. Okay. Then why did you tell me to unlock them? Rude. Oh, I can I can get a single? <gasps> I got a single. Was I supposed to do that? I feel like I wasn't. Okay. Well, I got a single. When is this? 400 and a lot. Okay. You can buy them from the previous menu. You can buy them here. Oh, I can. Okay, let's unlock photo shoot. Okay. I unlocked photo shoot. You have a manager working for you. Let's have her make some business proposals. Click on the staffer's office and select business proposal. Okay. Looks like she finished a business proposal. Yeah. Each client will be looking for an idol who is good in a particular stat. You get to choose which one participates. You have three options. How good the rewards are depending on how good the idol is for the desired stat that the client is looking for. Your staffer can try to negotiate a better rate. This number of times you can negotiate is based on the staffer's deal stat. Is that how much she gets paid or how much I get paid? Okay, let's focus on fan. Ooh, 22 if we use her. Okay, let's use her. We don't need to negotiate. Um, you can also have a staffer automatically generate business proposals. Click on the staffer and click auto proposals. Yes. Uh, automatically generate business proposals whenever she isn't working on anything else. This means she won't generate research points. Okay. On the default agency view, you can get an overview of how many research points you currently have. Woohoo. Oh, I actually have like quite a bit of research points. You can use the buttons here as shortcuts for daily activities like promotions, performances, and sport treatments. All right. Daily activities can be triggered using keyboard shortcuts. I'm not going to use those, but thank you. You can view pending tasks from the default agency view. Take a look at my pending tasks. Okay. It's got a story event waiting for me. Oh, that sounds important. Nothing's happening. There he is. Mind if I step in for a moment? Sure, what's up? Oh, you've been hard at work running the agency. I've been hard at work shaking hands with the right people. And if you shake enough hands, you start to learn about opportunities. I think I found one that may be of interest to you. See, I have a friend who works as a TV producer. They're always looking to fill programming slots. Things like quiz shows, that sort of thing. I managed to plant the idea in her head that it would be a good idea to have a quiz show where producers from different idol groups compete against each other. Folks such as yourself. That actually sounds kind of fun. Oh. I thought so too. Couldn't have drawn it up any better myself. Well, now that I think about it, I am the one who drew it up. Of course, they don't let just anyone on television. You need to have a certain amount of clout before you can get in a TV appearance. To put it in concrete terms, you need to have enough talent on board to justify calling it an actual idol group. Three idols is a group, two idols is a company, anything less than that, you're playing with yourself. I see Telltale Hearts has five members already, so you're already big enough. Oh yay, I, I knew it was a good thing to hire them all. Also, you'd need to release a single. You don't have to top the charts or anything like that. Just having a physical CD that people can go out and purchase lends the group a bit more credibility. Plus, it would give you something to promote on the show. Anyway, that's something for you to work toward. In the meantime, I'll keep shaking hands and greasing palms and look forward to the day that I get to see you on TV. All right, that's the story event. Meeting the story task is automatically trigger. You'll need to come back to the screen and click it. Okay, sometimes certain events will happen automatically. Okay, optional tasks to complete will appear here. If you socialize and ask about our wishes, it will show up as a task here. Time to hire a dance staffer. Click on the staff tab, okay. Hire a dance teacher. Producer. She needs a place to work. She gets a dance room. Grab her and drag her to the room. Get to work. Oh, you're in the way. Get to work. It's time to hire a music staffer. Okay. Voice coach or music producer. What are you? Voice coach, music producer. Uh, I guess let's start with the voice coach. Uh, she needs a place to work. Obvious. Obvious. Recording studio. Oh, 
we don't have enough space. Okay, okay, I guess I'm- am I allowed to, like... I guess I am. Okay. Grab them and drag them there. This is not a hymn, is it? Maybe it is. Yeah, it's it. Let's have your dance staff or coach an idol. Okay, that sounds fun. Go to the idol tab. Select an idol and drag it to the studio. Okay, who has terrible dance? Who's got just like the worst dance on earth? 56, 8, 8, 4, and 1. Okay, you. <laughs> Go dance. Yeah, I see. Note that the only coach and idol of the staffer's coaching stat is higher than the idol stat. Uh, okay. That's a good- that makes sense, actually. Let's consume stamina. Don't overwork them. Okay. Auto practice. Okay. To produce a single, you need to have a dance staffer, a music staffer, and a manager staffer. Okay, I've got all those. Okay, go to the research tab and unlock lyric. Okay, 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 okay. Lyric type. I think I did that. Yes, I did. Uh, marketing strategy. Digital only release. Choreography style. Uh, cute, obvious. And genre. Pop. Oh, he doesn't have enough. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Oh, can I do this? I can't. Oh, it costs... I'm like b blindly paying money for things and I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing. I did it! Okay, let's make a single. Yay, I'm excited! It would be a good idea to wait until you have some fans. Ugh, okay. Oh no! Okay. We have 29. That's more than zero. Open the singles tab and click new single. Okay, where's the singles tab? You told me everything else, but you didn't tell me singles tab. There it is. New single. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Choose a name. Click the random icon. Okay. No, that sucks. 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 What about just she's mysterious? I could dig that. All right, we need a marketing plan, a genre, a lyric style, and a choreography. And then you need to select a number of CDs to produce. Uh, we only we did a digital only release though, so it's okay. Let's do it. It's time to choose which idols. Select an idol and drag her to the formation screen to place her in the formation. Okay. You have awesome vocals, so you're obviously the leader. Uh, closer to the center formation will contribute more. Well, you're obviously going first. You have okay vocals. Uh, the team chemistry stat is based on how well the idols in the formation are getting along with each other. Putting a bully in the formation can have a negative effect on team chemistry. Well, we don't have bullies here. Being chosen as a center can also boost their career. Is one of your idols wishing to be a center? I didn't ask them about wishes. Okay. Um, I think we should probably do more than one, right? It seems like it wouldn't be a good idea. Well, she's cute 62. Oh, she's cute 90. Okay, no, no, no. We need the cute 62 and the oh, cute 90 awesome. girl, because it's very cute. Uh, we shouldn't... Let's not put them all in. Let's just do... Kind of like Luna. <laughs> We're just going to do some of them at a time. Now that all the hard choices have been made, it's time to produce it. Character write the lyrics. Ha oh, I write the lyrics? Okay. Have a dance staffer do the choreography and a managing staffer create the marketing plan. Okay. Drag the single to your office to work on the lyrics. Okay. Here, work on the lyrics. Completing all the production tasks associated with the single will take some time. That makes sense. Hurry up. Hurry up. Can I drag it to the other people? No. I guess the lyrics have to be made before you can do the other things. That makes sense now that I think about it. What are you doing? Photo shoot. A cool photo shoot. These are not a lot of new- I need a lot of new fans. Okay, whatever. You do it. I'm almost done. Yay! Okay. Here. Take it. Make choreography. Can I have a? T can I have somebody go train vocally while he's doing that? Who has bad vocals? 11, 16, 18, 19. Okay, 11. You. Yeah, that's it. Go train. Oh my god, that scared me. Okay, yes. Okay. Here. I don't remember yeah, what your it. job is. Do it. Recording it, I guess. Idol. I've got idol idols over here. Here, why don't you go do some dance training? Yay, we're done. Okay, okay. Now what? Somebody- oh yeah, you need it. Here. You gotta market it. Do it. Alright, in the meantime, who needs vocal training? Still you! Okay, go- go train more. And then you have awful dance skills. I can't give them, like, dorms? Where do they live? <laughs> I thought people lived in dorms in this con- in the- in this career. Oh, it's ready for release. Okay. Uh, release it. Okay, okay. Nine sales! I'll take it. Uh, I don't know what I'm looking at. Is it just telling me that I'm doing good at those? Obscurity bonus. I don't know what that means. 
What is an obscurity bonus? Uh, okay. Thank you. Here we are, back in the office. Yo. Yo. Hey, thought I'd stop by. I can see by the binders on your desk that you've been consulting some of the business notes I gave you. Mm. That's good. Um, there's something up with this binder. Somebody, somebody, there's something up with this. Part of the binder mentioned you by name. Is that so? Well, it's not surprising. As I said, they were written by a former associate of mine. Is he dead? <laughs> I trusted them enough to run several of my business operations, and they did quite well. So any advice they have to give is probably worth taking. <laughs> I hope they're not saying anything bad about me. I'm sure they're saying just the nicest things. Uh, are we done? Oh, nope, we're not. Producer? Hello. You can call me. Of course. Anyway, I wanted to ask you about a few things. Specifically, we need to set a number of guidelines for how the girls behave and how events are run. It could be chaotic if things aren't consistent. I think it's best to have a set policy in place so that everyone is working with the same rule book, so to speak. Works works for me. Well, I'm not sure I'd recommend any specific set of policies. Different organizations have different sets of rules, and each set of rules has its own pros and cons. The policy that Telltale Hearts has will be a part of what sets it apart from the other groups. Of course, nothing is set in stone. You can always change your mind if you don't like the current set of policies. In fact, it's pretty common for new groups to be flexible when they first start off and adapt their policies depending on what seems to work best. Okay. The longer you stick with the given policy, the more people come to expect certain things of you. When an organization gains more of a reputation and people get more used to running things a certain way, changing policies can take a while, and you might have to wait longer for the benefits to show up. But since we're a younger organization, we have time to change things around, so if you're a bit unsure, no need to stress over a particular decision, you can always adjust it later. Sorry, that was probably a bit more explanation than you need, you're the boss, you know, you explain to you how an organization works. In fact, you're supposed to be the one who tells everyone else how these things work, so with that in mind, what kind of business proposals do you think would be the most promising? Um... I don't know. TV dramas sounds like too much work. <laughs> like Variety shows are really funny. Let's do variety shows. They're good time for exposures, and that's not a huge time commitment. So should I focus on getting us variety shows? Tell me about the other ones. Uh, tell me about photo shoots. One-time gigs, quick infusion of cash. If you're looking to maximize short-term revenue, uh, that doesn't sound like it gets me a lot of fans. Advertisements three-month contract that can be a good source of recurring income, and any idol that appears in advertisements will also get a modest bit of exposure, but whichever one of them gets chosen will go in every week to record new spots, so it's a time commitment. Liability. If a company chooses an idol from an organization to represent their brand, any scandals the idol becomes involved in can result in negative association with the brand. Uh, that sounds like a lot of, uh, trouble. Uh, TV dramas. Three months. Uh, three-month contract. Time commitment. Uh, a good amount of exposure. Liability. TV work uh, clean image. No scandals. We do have one really funny girl. We could send her to the variety shows. I think that's a good idea. Yes. Yes, we're going to do that. Right. Yep, we're going to change it later. Yep. Uh, sometimes other opportunities will fall into your lap. Let you know about those when they come up, even if they're not the kind of business deal we're focusing on at the moment. Sorry if I sounded like I was second guessing you there. Business proposals are kind of my area of expertise, so I just wanted to make sure you were aware of all the options before you made your decision. My next few questions should be a bit simpler and more straightforward. Okay. Recently, I've been thinking about the branding of Telltale Hearts. What kind of vibe do you want people to associate with our group? None of them were funny, as I seem to recall. Like, a lot of them weren't funny. I think cute. It does have a heart in the name, and then as they mature, we can sort of evolve it. Safe brand image, and I'm kind of partial to that vibe myself. Another branding question, it's about the fans. What kind of image are we trying to project? Not necessarily rebellious. Uh, I think neutral, neutral. Playing it safe, well, not trying to alienate anyone is a valid way to go and certainly not a bad choice. All right, now for a question about screening incoming talent. We can conduct background checks during the recruitment process. A more rigorous background check will make the recruitment progress more expensive, but it can help filter out more of the bad apples. Uh, mm, I think basic. It, it, we don't. It, I'm sure they don't have. If they've got something hiding back there, in the deep recesses of their minds, they can keep that to themselves. Mm -hmm. We also need to talk about social media. Since anything the idols post online is going to reflect on the organization, part of the idols contract allows us to set rules governing their basic social media use. What kind of policy do you want? I mean, not. In, let's do pre-moderated posts. Yep. Allowing live streams, if we want to allow them at all. They can be a good source of exposure, but there's always the risk of scandal. Controlled streams. They can do some V-lives. That's fine. You know, I've heard that some streamers collect donations from viewers and actually make a bit of side income from it. It's not a lot, but it's not nothing either. 
Oh, another thing. We need to have a dating policy in place. There are more, shall we say, invested fans who don't like the idea of idols dating. They think it ruins part of the appeal. On the other hand, not allowing idols... On the other hand, not allowing idols to date is the kind of thing that would seem draconian to less invested fans. And that might be a bit of a turnoff for them. And that's completely apart from the impact that romance can have on an idol's life on an individual basis. There are a lot of emotional highs and lows that come with the dating scene, and while romance can boost someone's self-esteem, it could just as easily end up being a distraction. There's also the fact that what kind of dating policy we set will affect how dating-related scandals are seen by the public. If we have strict rules against dating, then anything remotely scandalous is going to be a much bigger deal than if we were more permissive. On the other hand, having a loose and flexible policy make it more likely that scandals will happen in the first place. Okay, we could try to hedge our bets a little by not setting an official policy. And no matter what kind of dating policy we have, it probably won't do anything to discourage idols from becoming romantically involved within the group. That kind of thing has been known to happen. Though, if it's just an internal thing, it's easier to keep that kind of thing under wraps, so it probably wouldn't be an issue regardless. Mmm, ambiguous. わかりました best to keep ourselves out of it then. A don't ask, don't tell policy probably won't appeal to many fans, but it's also less likely to repel them. Yeah, I feel like just just pretend like you're not dating anybody. I don't care what you actually do. Just keep it under wraps, dude. And one last thing related to finances, or more specifically salaries. One of the things I've been thinking about is proactively offering the talent pay raises in order to keep them satisfied. The way it is right now, the only time idle salaries can increase is if you change them yourself. But if you authorize me to offer them incremental pay bumps, I could keep an eye on which girls seem to be less satisfied with their pay and give them a slight pay bump to keep them satisfied. How do you want me to handle them? Yes, you can do that. Uh, you can do keep them moderate. Sounds good. I'll just idle salary. It's fine. Group policies. Events. Idols interact with fans, live appearances, handshake events. Hardcore fans don't like seeing security guards everywhere, but having good security in place will make the girls feel safer. What level of security should we have? Uh, normal. I, I feel like, you know, casual, and if something goes wrong, we'll up it, you know? We'll do everything by the books, standard stuff. While we're on the topic of live events, I've been focusing a lot on dance choreography. More specifically, I've been thinking about clothing choices and how skirts can be a certain kind of wardrobe accidents more lightly, likely. Depending on the dance moves, fans might see a bit more than we want them to see if you get my drift. I'm sure that hardcore fans would get a huge kick out of seeing the girls in short skirts, but less hardcore fans aren't as into that kind of thing. If we go with longer skirts, some of the male fans won't be too happy with that choice, but it would probably go over better with the female fans, and it would still please some of the hardcore fans without alienating the more casual fans. Or as a bit of a compromise, we could have the girls wear short skirts with safety shorts. Uh, I mean, I feel like safety shorts should be the standard. Dodge the issue entirely and have them wear pants. More and more groups are doing it these days. A lot of casual fans find the look more appealing, especially guys in the audience. Hardcore fans probably prefer- got really? Hardcore fans probably prefer the more traditional look with the skirts though. I mean, can't we just have multiple outfits? How do we want to handle the clothing? I think short skirts with safety shorts. Cause that seems- that seems- yeah. So do you? Sounds like a good compromise. That probably won't ruffle any feathers. I'll make note of that. Thanks for bringing it up. One last thing. I know this is kind of subjective, but when it comes to live performances, which do you think is better? Quality or energy? Definitely quality. Quality. Make it good. Yokai. Make sure the girls aren't slacking during practice. Having a high quality performance isn't easy, but I think the effort will be worth it. When you look at the idol groups that have really wide appeal, most of them have really polished and slick performances. If someone only follows idol groups casually, the things that are going to stick out to them are the groups have their choreography really nailed down and they're singing perfectly on pitch. Oh, now the singing guy's gonna come in? When people watch a performance where everyone is hitting their marks perfectly and it's completely in sync, they notice the difference. It's what separates the elite performers from the rest of the pack. It'll require a lot of hard work, but I know we can get there if the girls are willing to invest the effort. Of course, if you ever change your mind, you can always change the group policies. Yes, I'll drop it for the blah 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 blah. You can modify them. Experiment early on to see what works best for you. Okay. I know we're just starting out, but I've got a really good feeling about how things are going to go. Yes. Yes. Let's do it. I have a story. Yo. Hey, dude. Just want to see how you were doing. How's your first week on the job been? It's great. <laughs> Glad to hear it. I knew you'd be a natural at this. Anyway, you might be interested to know that I recently tapped into my professional network and managed to get you a small mention on a local news broadcast. Okay, that's cool. 
I also talked to several folks who run businesses in the area and got them to put up promotional materials for a while. It's not exactly making it big time, but it will at least get you the attention of people who are nearby. How'd you get them to do that? What, you don't believe it was the power of my charm? I don't know how I feel about this guy. <laughs> Seriously though, you're not the local business that I've invested in, you know? He, I think he means you're not the only local business. There are a lot of local business owners that owe me favors, and in situations like this, I can get them to help me out a bit. Or in this case, help you out. Okay, I'm gonna pretend that it's just as innocent as you're making it seem. Of course, I hope you realize this works both ways. Yeah, of course. Someday you're gonna be the established business that I come to asking for a favor. I might be generous, but I expect something in return. Fair is fair, after all. I'm scared of you a little bit, and your pocket square. Of course, I don't mean to make this seem like a bigger deal than it is. More people in the area are going to have an awareness of your group. That doesn't automatically turn them into fans, but it does mean that when you promote the group, people will be more likely to pay attention. You might gain more fans that you would than you would ordinarily, thanks to the temporary boost. Thank you. Oh, I should do some events then. Ditto for performances. People are more likely to check out a group they've been hearing of recently. So you might see a small boost in attendance and revenue. Anyway, this honeymoon- oh shoot. Uh, well, it don't, it'll- uh, yeah. You heard a rumor that one of your idols started dating. Did you? Did you? Hey. Are you dating? Somebody dating? I'll, I'll, you better not be dating. Go to my office. Not you. I've already talked to you. Go to my office. I know I literally just said that. <laughs> and I'm like, go to your office. But like, do fans 20? Do her. Are you dating? Casual conversation. Hey, what's up? Hey, you know nothing. You're just hanging out, you and I. She gives a detailed description of what she ate for breakfast and shares a bit about what has been going on with her family. That's nice. You also find out that she enjoys listening to podcasts in languages she doesn't understand. That's kind of cute, actually. Okay, fun. Okay, now I want to talk to you. Let's talk to all of them. And you go dance. Go dance. And you go learn how to sing. What's up? Oh, she's so shy. What's going on with me? Not much. She talks a bit about a manga she recently started reading and talks about the last time she talked with her family. You also find out that she's a large collection of American comic books. Oh, okay. Cute. Okay, you're done, so we can talk to you. All right, let's 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 chat. What's up, girly? How's it hopping? I don't know. How is it hopping? Uh, talks about her favorite TV show and shares an embarrassing story from her past. It's kind of cute. You find out that she enjoys science fiction novels. Okay, is this being like recorded anywhere or am I supposed to just memorize these things? I don't know. I'm just I'm just out here. Do it. How'd you met? Hey girly. Did you want to talk about anything in particular or are we just here to chat? We're just here to chat. Favorite TV show and talks to the last time she talked with her family. She loves watching American football. What's up with all these girls and their like American things? Like, I'm not- no shade, like, you can like American stuff. I like Japanese stuff, you know? But, like, can you- why is it not doing sometimes? You have awful dance skill, go dance. Oh, you have even worse? Wow, you guys are, like, not great. What's up, queen? What have you been up to? Oh, we leveled up. She talks about what Magani- Maganines- Maganines, yep. She's been reading recently and spends a few minutes talking about her hobbies. Her father is publishing a serialized isekai web novel. I don't know what isekai is, but it sounds fun. Okay. So this. Here, go dance. Oh, you have like low physical stamina. Never mind. You go dance. Some of you need. Let's do some promotions. Whoa, what's happening? Oh, it's her birthday. Oh, happy birthday. Which one is she? Mizuki, 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 Mizuki. There she is. Happy birthday! Uh, please don't graduate. How do I, can I like do something for her? Can I be like, happy birthday? Yeah, of course. Nostalgically about an old TV show she used to watch as a kid and spends a few minutes talking about her hobbies. She has an older sister who works as an editor at a shonen manga magazine. Okay, cool. Um, can I like choose who gets to do the things or do we just do them? We just do them. Okay. Can I talk to you again? I can. Okay. I don't think I understand the cooldown. What's up? Okay. Let's talk about the group. What's what's the goss? Aw, Mizuki. 
Okay, well we need to be better friends because I want the goss. Ugh, I can't talk to her again yet. Nope. I need to know which of you is dating. I should have set a better dating policy. I don't know why I was like, it's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. It's not fine. Let's just chat. Playing a video game recently and mentions one of her childhood heroes. She still carries a Game Boy Advance in her bag. Cute! Oh my gosh, she's so cute. She's a little gamer. Nobody's graduated, right? Please don't graduate. <laughs> I just got you all. I can't get rid of you yet. Come on. Alright, who's still at level zero? Let's chat. Oh! Did we do well? We didn't. No, we're not on here. Where's ours? No, we're not on here at all. Okay, cool. I don't know if the auto practice will respect their like stamina though. What's up, girly? Magazine she's been reading, talking about her hobbies. Her mother has over 20 cats. Okay. 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 That's not weird. That's not weird. I don't think it's weird. I think it's normal. In fact, I think it's really, really normal. Ooh, so look at all these things going up. I love how the dance teacher just sits on her ass. The whole session. We're just chatting. Mizuki, we're just chatting. Favorite TV show. Oh, she didn't tell me any fun things about herself. Mizuki, come on. Tell me some fun things about yourself. Mm. Can we get a dressing room now? <gasps> we can. Okay, let's hire a dressing room person. We have a cute concept. Let's hire you. Producer? Yeah. And then we have to drag you to your office. I don't know what she does. Cute. Uh, I don't know what she does. <laughs> so we're just going to ignore it. And then let's, let's look at our research points. Do we have anything we can upgrade? That. Okay. What are you up to? We have handshake events. Okay. Oh, let's go on our date. Nope, we're just chatting. What she ate for breakfast. Older sister who's attending university in Brazil. Ooh, Brazil. Cool. Level two. Get some cool choreography. Yeah. Love. More love. Uh. I don't know what these are. So I'm just gonna get one. Cool. Um, what does this do? Oh. Keep them satisfied. Variety shows, cutes, physical stamina limit. They won't, they won't, adults with physical stamina under the limit won't be picked for auto practice. Yeah, that's good. That's a good limit. Background check, basic, security, normal, dating, ambiguous. Uh, mm, uh, what's this? Nothing. What's this? Fujimoto is sometimes in the mood to lend out money interest free, though it does come with non monetary stipulations. It does mention him by name. Interesting. I didn't realize this was like literally a binder that I could read. There's probably lore in here. Maybe I'll read them later. Pause the screen. If he gives you a dinner invite, take him up on it. Okay. Ooh, wait. Before we go. Okay, 13 fans, 16 fans. Um, we need more than that. Come on. Give me at least 20. No? Okay, 16 it is. Here. Here you go, queen. Go. Okay. This is a lot of fun, actually. I'm enjoying myself already. I am going to wrap it up here. If you like this video, there's a button for that. Good news, there's a button for that. If you didn't like the video, there's not. They do, They took that button off, sorry. Go, you might have to take it up with YouTube support. They took the button away, I don't know. But if you liked the video, that button's still there. You could also subscribe. I would be much appreciated if you did. If you liked this, leave me a comment saying you want to see more of it. I definitely am going to play more of it, whether you're here with me or not. Might as well record some of it, right? All right, this has been fun.